Welcome back to DIY PC Repairs and here we have part 2 of the, the Windows 7 backup. Now if you've seen part 1 you'll know that we now have our backup on our external drive and if you haven't seen part 1 head over to DIYPCRepairs.net and you'll find on there part 1 of this video. So what I want to do now is we want to show you how we actually get data back from our backup and you'll see here that our backup was 5.3 gig and all our important files, photos and what have you were backed up. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go and delete something. So we've got sample pictures here and again as I said in part one of the video this is a clean install and there isn't much on this system but the sample pictures are ideal for this. I can just show you what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete. If I come out of there I'm going to empty the recycle bin. So if we, uh, there's actually two ways we could get these back. If you, if you just deleted them as we've just done there, um, there is Shadow Copper which runs with System Restore. You can restore your deleted files and folders that way and again over on DIYPCRepairs.net we've got a video on there showing you how to do that if you just head over there and type um, shadow copy into the search box uh, and I think it's under system protection anyway you'll find it and you can have a watch of that it's a great easy way of getting your documents back um, so if you actually look now we've deleted our photos so what I want to do now is I'm going to try and retrieve them from our backup and hopefully we uh, we haven't lost everything. So we're going to go into the control panel again. I'm going to go to back up your computer. Now instead of running a backup this time, we're going to select a backup to restore from. So what's going to happen now is we're going to check the passport for any backups we have on there and you'll see that we have two and the one we're interested in is this one here. So we're going to click next. Now this is going to give us a an option to select all files from this backup or we can browse for files. Now if you've deleted a lot of files or you you know you've you've deleted a whole hard drive or anything like that, you've had any hard drive issues, put all the files back. It's easier than going through and picking them all. But because in this instance we've already deleted our one photo file or folder, we're gonna browse for folders. You can browse for files or browse for folders. So because we lost a folder we're going to go with the folders. If we'd lost an individual photo, we'd go with the files, or again, we could still just replace the whole folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to browse. Now we've got a backup of C here, so we're going to open that. It's the C drive that we backed up, and now we're into users, so we're going to open users up, and we're going to open public up, and we're going to open pictures up. Now, again, your, your PC will be named differently. Um, so this is the folder it won't actually show us, I'm just going to look for individual files then, but it won't actually show us the individual files because it's the, the folder that we're going to replace. So once we've found the, the folder that we want to replace, we just add folder. Now that'll add it to the list of what we want to actually restore or put back onto the drive. So once we've selected that, we'll click next. And it's going to ask us now if we want it back in the original location or somewhere where we want to, um, other than where it was. Um, but what we want to do, we'll put it back into the original location and then we just hit restore and there we go, the files have been restored so if we click finish and we come out of there if we go to start and go to pictures there we go, there's our pictures that we just deleted restored from our backup off our external drive and hopefully that's the, the end of your data loss issues um, back that up reg regularly um, <laughs> very nice <laughs> we seem to have blue screened <laughs> marvellous now again this is, a, this is the ideal thing you know if, if we were working on sensitive documents there, photos, anything um, and that happens then you'd hope that you have a backup Let's start windows normally <laughs> we're, we're planning on doing a a troubleshooting of a blue screen error, but uh, we'll just let this reboot.
Okay, so now we've recovered from the blue screen of death, we will go back and check our pictures just again to make sure that after a blue screen or a crash like that, your files and folders are in in order. And that one is. And uh, yeah, so we were basically at the end there of um, I'm showing you how to to replace your files and folders from a backup. We also learned another lesson there that once you've installed Windows, any copy of Windows, it's always best to run all the updates and make sure that your uh, Windows automatic updates are turned on and then you don't get errors like that happening to you. So please go over to DIYPCRepairs.net and check out the videos we've got over there. We've got quite a few and we're adding to them on a weekly basis. And, uh, on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching.